So Deadline is now reporting that James Cameron is engaged in early talks to return to his Terminator franchise, not as a director though, but in a Godfather role for Deadpool's Tim Miller, who would direct a, re a reboot and a conclusion to the franchise. Obviously, Terminator Genesis did not do the greatest at the box office. I personally thought it was better than Terminator Salvation and maybe even Terminator uh, Rise of the Machines. Uh, but uh, the fact here is, you know, in 2019, uh, James Cameron will, reg will regain some of his rights to the Terminator franchise. Now, a lot can happen in the film industry in two years. And James, Cur James Cameron is currently working on four sequels to 2009's Avatar, which are expected to come out between 2018 and 2023. Now, that does leave Tim Miller, who directed Deadpool, which was a big success. So Tim Miller could very well direct this. And James Cameron could just kind of pop in here and there and say, hey, you know, how's it going, you know, or just kind of oversee the production of it, you know, be an executive producer on it and just kind of get his name out there and say, hey, we're going to make the best Terminator that we can. Um, but no matter what they choose to do here, I think it is best to end the Terminator franchise uh, as much as I enjoy one and two. Uh, the, those those films are absolutely incredible. Three, four and five. A lot of people hate, uh, especially four. Um, but, uh, and I, th I thought, you know, Schwarzenegger coming back for Terminator Genesis was, uh, was intriguing to me. And I thought it was, uh, I enjoyed it until, and I thought it was actually the perfect ending for it until they kind of showed that post credits teaser that kind of set up a, yet another film that did not end up getting made because the, the box office failure of, uh, Genesis. Um, so I think whatever they decide to do, whenever James Cameron gets some of the rights back that, uh, they ought to just figure out a good proper send off to this series because I mean, as even though some people like the th three films that some people don't, uh, I think a good send off for the franchise is the best way to go about it. You can maybe even do kind of like what they rumored to do with alien where, uh, you could maybe say Terminator one and Terminator two judgment day are the only two that existed. And then you could do like a direct sequel to it. Maybe do a third film that ignores three, four and five. You can maybe do that. Or you could just uh, kind of pick up where five left off and kind of try to give it a proper send off, as I hope they will do personally, because I wasn't a big fan of the alien idea where they would ignore three and four and just kind of do Alien Five uh, by Neil Blomkamp. But it doesn't sound like that movie's going to happen now anyway. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I, I just think that Terminator has kind of run its course, and uh, unless you can find a really good way to either reboot the whole thing completely. Uh, but uh, I've always wanted to see how this series would end and uh, how the human race would either survive or not. Uh, I just think uh, we need to find out the end to Skynet and find out exactly what happens there and kind of just leave it at that and maybe put it to rest. And just because James Cameron gets the rights back, uh, that, does not, that does not mean that this film is going to get made anytime soon. The report states that he won't be getting any of the rights back until 2019. So that, you know probably means we're not even going to see this film for a good three or four years at the earliest so just the and not to mention he's busy working on all these avatar sequels that he's going to take up all of his time i just feel like uh, for now this is you know a true take it for a grain of salt moment and just kind of maybe say okay well that could be cool if it happens and but you know to look forward to it anytime soon i think is a waste of time well, that'll just about do it for me, everybody. Thank you for watching this video, and if you like what you saw here, please comment and like this video. And you can also subscribe to the Jailcast on YouTube uh, by searching for Jailcast there. You can also find links in the description of this video for my Facebook and Twitter, or you can go to facebook.com slash Jailcast, or you can find me on Twitter at Eric Jail. So, until next time, thank you for watching. God bless.